Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, we're out at Aspen View Farm this weekend. It is my family reunion and most of my family from my mom's side is up here or arriving. Um, actually my grandmother just showed up moments ago so I had to put things on hold and give her a big hug because I haven't seen her in a while and it's so good to see her here and smiling. Um, I love you grandma. We've, we missed you. Um, so I want to wish some people happy birthday before we get going. First of all, my cousin Jenna from Chilliwack who actually is here right now. I asked her if she wanted to be on this video but she said she gets the day off because it's her birthday and that's fair. I can absolutely respect that. So I want to wish you a happy birthday Jenna. I hope you have an awesome time up here this weekend and uh, it's so good to see you and the family and everyone and uh, yeah love you buddy. Happy birthday. Also Bowen A um, in Kelowna who I know from new, I guess, in grade seven here in Kamloops. I went to school with Bowen in grade seven. He's a really nice guy, really funny guy, hilarious. And uh, yeah, good memories hanging out in class and at school with Bowen. So happy birthday, Bowen. Uh, I also want to wish Tammy S. a happy birthday. Tammy lives in Kamloops. I worked with Tammy at Top 40 a few years ago, an absolute sweet lady. And I haven't seen you in a few years now. I again but uh, I want to wish you a happy birthday Tammy. Hope you're doing well. Um, also I want to wish Martha M in Naples, Florida a happy birthday. I don't know you personally Martha but I hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a happy birthday. Troy D also known as the Pepper Dojo in the Pepper community. I want to wish you a happy birthday. I don't know you personally and I don't even actually know where you live except I'm almost positive that you live in the USA. Um, but regardless of where you live, happy birthday Troy. I hope you're doing well. Um, last and definitely not least, Craig C who I don't actually know anything about except for that it's your birthday today. I don't know where you live or anything but again that's b beside the point. Happy birthday Craig. So that concludes the birthday shout outs for today. Quite the list. I think there's yeah, six today. That's pretty awesome. Uh, happy birthday to all of you and happy birthday to anyone selling a, celebrating a birthday selling. I say that often. Don't sell your birthday. Keep it. <laughs> um, happy birthday to anyone celebrating a birthday and to the rest of us, happy unbirthday. Just have a great day. Um, so let's get to a hot sauce review shall we? I actually had a little bit of a debate on whether or not like which hot sauce to review today. I brought just a bag of things to review and see how I'm feeling but this one product really caught my eye this morning for some reason. I've had my eye on it for quite a while but I actually had to contact the sauce maker to get a quick list of ingredients and I mean quick. Uh, he replied within minutes and very thoroughly perfect. So anyways let's get to it. I left you in suspense long enough unless you read the title. This is Uncle Bull Cow's limited edition strawberry rhubarb hot sauce. Yeah does that not sound amazing and look amazing? I hope you can get a good look at that color and the texture and the consistency in there. It looks to be a medium to yeah I'll call that just a straight up medium consistency sauce. Beautiful pink, almost a hint of orange in there, some red flakes in there. Um, <clears throat> pardon me, I'll tell you a little bit about this sauce, the ingredients. That's what I had to get from Uncle Bull Cow. He, and again, thanks buddy, you replied within moments and I'm so, so glad that I got to review this sauce today. I'll say that in advance. <laughs> um, the ingredients are strawberries, rhubarb, seven pot primo pepper and primatali peppers, lemon juice and cane sugar. So very straight up strawberry rhubarb sauce with two very hot peppers in it. So let's open this up and I'm actually gonna take a page out of Kim's book here. Kim from Wait for Work. She leaves this portion on so that she can read the uh, the name of the sauce still. I kind of wish that they all didn't say limited edition. I wish that the sticker maybe even was down there. I might try to recycle that sticker off and stick it down there. Just because there's quite a few Uncle Bull Cow limited edition sauces. Luckily one like this you, you can kind of get a good idea of the sauce just by the color of it. Like it looks like a strawberry rhubarb sauce. So hopefully you saw what I did there. I was more concentrating on what I was doing than showing you what I was doing. And I just cut it right around there. So. Actually I should put that in the other pocket because that's the pocket that has the tasting spoon in it. 
and I don't want to lose the garbage. Let's give this a good shaky shake for Joe and Silas and Joya at heating up. Haven't been on social media in a few days, so I don't know if Joe has been creating videos again or not. Ooh, a little bit of a pop there. Oh yeah, I'm getting the strawberry. Yeah, I'm getting strawberry and maybe a bit of the rhubarb, the like tartness of the rhubarb and the sweetness. Yeah, this smells really good. I'm not really smelling any pepper. Hmm. I think this is going to be a delicious hot sauce. Maggie's smelling the air. Maggie's over in the shade over there. There's a, a tree over there. She looks so happy. I'll pan over and we'll have a view. Uh, a view. Yeah, a view and a mandatory Maggie time after we're done the review. That's what I was getting at. Sometimes I get ahead of myself, get ahead of my own words. Let's give this a pour. Whoa, that came out really nicely. Hopefully I don't spill this. And hopefully you can see that. Doesn't really look like it's focusing very well on it. But that's okay, let's give it a try. This is Uncle Bull Cow's limited edition strawberry rhubarb hot sauce. Keep my shorts. Yeah, straight up. Strawberry rhubarb and heat. Sweetness, tartness, and spice. It's got a good kick to it. Really nice sweetness. This is, I would call this a dessert sauce. I've heard a few recommendations for what to use this sauce on. Great consistency, it's very syrupy. Like the, the, the liquid portion of the sauce is like a, like a syrup, like a, like a thin syrup, I guess, but very pleasant, very silky smooth, almost like a thinned out honey. Um, consistency wise, not flavor wise. Flavor wise, strawberry rhubarb. <laughs> That's not a very big spoonful. A little bit more, there we go. That is a delicious sauce. And I knew it would be. Uncle Bull Cow's sauces are all great, whether they're pepper forward or fruit based, sweet or savory. This is a great mix of sweet and a little bit tart. The strawberry flavor is so good in there. Let's talk about the heat. Let's get the spoon put away. My heat right now, I'd say I'm at a four out of 10. Um, the burn is mostly on the tip of my tongue and the front of my throat, not the back of my throat, like where my Adam's apple is or my Stephen's apple or whatever you want to call it. Um, and even in the lower lip. Yeah, in the gums and the lower lip. I gave it a little bit of a swish around in the mouth for sure. Get that flavor and that spice evenly distributed. Yeah, I give that a four out of five. Um, or sorry, a four out of 10 on my heat rating. Stumbling with my words right now. Um, your average habanero consuming hothead might call that a, like a seven out of 10 maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe a seven out of 10 if you're eating habaneros. If you're only eating jalapenos, um, you might call that a nine or a 10 out of 10 on heat scale. My flavor scale, I wanna give that, I'm going 10 out of 10. I was tossing up nine, nine and a half, 10. I'm going 10 out of 10. I wouldn't change a thing about that. That sauce is delicious. It's exactly what you want it to be, being an Uncle Bull Cow strawberry rhubarb hot sauce, because Uncle Bull Cow sauces have got some kick to them. I think we all know that. If you've tried an Uncle Bull Cow sauce, it has some kick to it. But they also have such great flavor. So I would absolutely recommend that. However, 
I think that was an extremely limited run. Um, I think he made that one time, I think he said because a friend suggested it. So he just made it. Um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome that a buddy just suggested this and he did it. Um, as a friend, I would suggest making it again. <laughs> it's that good. It's so good. I would love to restock on it, but I know I can't. And that kind of sucks because it's delicious. Um, great job on it. It's absolutely awesome. Great burn. All around, great sauce. Um, as far as parrots, well, I'll tell you first, Uncle Bull Cow suggested chicken, waffles, and ice cream. I absolutely agree with all of those. Any sort of dessert dish, really, yeah, ice cream, pie, cake. Um, yeah, <laughs> chicken. Um, I'm not sure what else. You could use that as a salad dressing. That would be a really nice salad dressing. Nice goat cheese and strawberry and spinach salad. Something like that. Um, really good. I can't really think of many other parrots. I'd just say desserts, yogurt, oatmeal, fruit dishes. Yeah, bowl of fruit with yogurt, totally. <laughs> Thanks again for the parrot, Jason Hearn. You're awesome. <laughs> I know sometimes I forget to bring it for the videos, but it's quite the awesome addition to the channel. The parrot is falling. We're just gonna let that fall. And we're gonna pan over. Actually, I'm gonna take this clipboard off because the thing that the parrot is clipped to keeps the clipboard from rattling. So let's put that down there and pan over and have a hangout with Maggie. Hopefully you can see her. Oh yeah, I see her head poking up there. I'll show you a little bit of the area too, actually. It's absolutely beautiful up here. That's the main road right there. I think we had one vehicle drive by at the very beginning. There's some traffic, but not a lot. Oh yeah, here comes another one. And there's across the road in the mountains. And let's pan back over to Maggie. There she is. Flip the monitor back around, even though I can't see it from 20 feet away. Let's have a hangout with this doggy. See Maggie? Yeah. You a good girl. You a good girl, Maggie. Maggie's having a great time up here. I hope you can hear me. I'm like 30 feet away, 40 feet away. We'll just have a cut. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go wrap this up. Just a quicker visit with Maggie this time. Um, funny story actually, she hasn't been acting very sore at all since we've been here. She perked up immediately when we got here. My mom thinks that she is stringing us along and making us feel sorry for her and I think she might be right. Maggie's pretty smart. We helped her up the stairs one time and she learned that if she whines she gets help. She learns her habits very quickly. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up, go hang out with my grandma, and go hang out with the family. It's gonna be an awesome weekend. Uh, it already has been already. Um, we camped overnight, it was wonderful. It was great, camped down by the creek. And uh, yeah, looking forward to showing you more of the, the weekend at some point, no promises. Probably not another video today, but probably do one tomorrow. We'll keep it going. Love you all, I appreciate you all taking the time to watch this video. Uncle Bull Cow, thank you very much for your quick response and your wealth of information on the product. Um, not too much else to say. I suppose... There we go, now we can get Maggie and the paddleboard in there, even if the paddleboard's on the wrong side. Um, in this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. Make sure you click that. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Really helps us out. In this corner, Uncle Bull Cow's YouTube channel. Hop over there, give him a subscribe, check out some of his pod munches and tincture stuff. Great content. Up here, some playlists for you to enjoy. I love you all. We'll hang out again soon, I promise. It's been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve, The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.